Howdy, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another episode of our Stone Block 2 Let's Play Adventure, picking up where we left off during the live streams, which were a blast. And when I say streams, I, I do mean the one. We had a singular live stream. Uh, I don't know how many videos it got divided into. I'm feeling maybe two or three. I haven't actually done it now. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, so I'll know in the future. But uh, hopefully you folks enjoyed those. I know that they're a little bit different than a traditional video and are certainly not to some people's likings, but I like to view them as a bit of a spinoff from what we normally do. And speaking of what we normally do, we've got a bit of a catch-up today. We're going to jump into extreme crafting in just a moment, but before that, I wanted to announce that I fixed the mouse issue. The mouse isn't squished anymore. If I'm not mistaken, it has to do with Y22 versus RGB. I could go into a very detailed description about how that video compression stream works, but basically I got a new switch that supports uh, HDR throughput, even though we're not going to be using it, uh, but more importantly, it supports full 4K RGB 60 hertz, and that is spectacular. So uh, hopefully it's going to look a little bit different because I don't have the colors adjusted quite perfect for, for that full RGB signal, but hopefully it looks okay. Everything should be running smooth and the mouse is no longer compressed, so that's great. Uh, at the end, or during the stream, I meant to check this at the end, but during the stream, we got quite a few achievements completed. So we've got an auto sifter, which is useless. That's, that's spectacular. We've got some chance cubes, which could be fun, possibly, or not. Uh, a redstone furnace, which is useless, and some climbing gloves. I mean, we can fly now. We have armor that allows us to just fly infinitely. So... I mean, the chance cubes may be fun, but I find it very unlikely there's going to be anything in there that we couldn't have... Oh, they have an EMC value. Interesting. There, I find it very unlikely that there's going to be anything in there that we couldn't have just created for ourselves. Before we get into the extreme crafting, I want to do a brief tour of the base because I've remodeled a bit. You'll notice I got rid of one, a couple of our farming patches up here. Uh, I just moved them back to open up this space in here. And uh, inside of here now, I've moved all of our chickens and expanded this. This corner's not finished yet. This is all going to be roosts and barrels. All of this is getting moved elsewhere. But for right now, check out these glass doors. So they are called wooden glass door. The recipe is very simple. It's three glass and three wood. There's some other recipes. There's some other varieties of these doors. I think if you just type in glass door, it'll show you. You've got wood and iron. Those are the two varieties. I made it sound like there were a lot more. But uh, you can just right click on them. You can use one or two. I've used two throughout the base. You can activate them with a button, step inside. They close behind you. I really like them. I think they look really cool. And uh, back here, we've got a few different things going on. So we've got our breeders set up as they were before, breeding things like uh, Restonia chickens and Platinum chickens and XP chickens. And uh, I've got a row of Emerald chickens now pumping into the energy condenser we got last time. We were, we're making awakened cores. They're worth 2.5 million EMC. And that was the highest item I could find. Uh, they're definitely higher items, but that's just what we had. Uh, the highest EMC item that we had. So that's going. I got rid of our squid tank. I know it's sad. I kind of liked the idea of keeping the squid tank forever as a monument to my failure. But um, ultimately, that would have been useless. It would have served no purpose whatsoever. Is there sound? I just looked over and realized there might not be sound. I can't hear anything. Oh, yeah. There's absolutely no noise. Well, <laughs> uh, this is probably that classic Minecraft bug that occasionally crops up um, where there's just no audio. I, I guess we could... Yeah, there's no, no no clicky sounds at all. Usually I have to restart the game and that would take like 10 or 15 minutes with this pack. So I'm just going to push forward and hopefully you enjoy the melodic sounds of my voice. So I got rid of the squid tank and I put in all the roosts. I counted how many chickens there are in the pack, and that's why we have so many empty roosts. This is to house all of the future chickens we will be getting so that we can complete our collection. Uh, I think I've got just enough. There may be a few extras. Moving back here, you can see I do have more of these wooden glass doors. I moved lava production into here next to the smeltery. That made sense to me. If I want to, I can pipe directly out of the crucibles into the smeltery, and uh, it's all going into the ceiling, of course, so... Not much of a change there. Oh, big change is we stopped using the superheating elements and moved to awakened draconium blocks because they're better in every single way. Uh, they're, they produce, I, th I think, are they twice as hot? I think they are twice as hot. I think we were getting 60, a rate of 60 
with the superheating elements. Now we got a rate of 120. So those are those are cooking up lava super quick. I expanded this room out a bit. I made another Herculean flux storage unit, and I'd like to make another four so we can make the next tier up. Maybe that's something we can do next episode. Basement remains basically unchanged, so no reason to go tour that at this time. And then this room is new. So this is where I removed our Empower and our Fusion Crafting Core after the live stream. I wanted them to be in their own room. Uh, two rooms didn't seem necessary, so I just stuck them both in here. I do have one regret, though, is I put this up against the wall, but then I had the foresight to put this a couple of blocks away. I'm going to fix that just right now. Uh, well, I mean, it does mean I have to move the flex points underneath them, but okay. All right, so now they're lined up and uh, nice and evenly spaced, so it looks a bit better. doesn't change performance at all, though. It all still works exactly the same. Uh, I'm real happy with that setup. Nothing here in the monster chamber has been changed, although I do want to hook all of this up to our uh, disk, I was going to say diskless storing, but that's not true. It's 100% disk storing. That's what ME is. I don't, well, I guess you could do it without disks if you just hooked it up to a bunch of barrels and chests and whatnot, but that seems a bit ridiculous. I think that's everything that's changed, though. I think that's everything we have to discuss here for the time being. Uh, now, as promised, let's hop into extreme crafting which starts with the crafting of the extreme crafting table now this is part of a mod that the name i don't even know if i can pronounce it avar avaricia possibly avaricia and everything we're going to need for the end game or what i see is the end game at this point is contained within this mod so yes extreme crafting but then also uh, neutronium ingots, which people have been asking me to get. We got to get neutrons, and then you turn it into neutronium nugget. I, I don't know what the exact process is. The infinity ingots that we need to create the infinity armor, which everyone agrees is what we're going to need to defeat that giant chicken that's now pwned me multiple times in an embarrassing fashion. This is going to be an important mod moving forward, and it's kind of strange that we're going to be taking a step back after this and going down the, the farming route. Also, I don't know if y'all noticed. I did put a hoe in there. I did. Uh, we're going to be taking a step back and, and adventuring and exploring some of these other mods, such as, you know, fluid cows and mystical agriculture and things. Uh, but I think to progress through Draconic Evolution and Extreme Crafting, these, these two are sort of interlinked, and to a degree, Project E. Uh, wow, we got a lot done in Project E. I hadn't even really noticed. Anyway, none of that's relevant. What's relevant is building the Extreme Crafting Table, which, I, when I first looked at this recipe, way back when we started the series, this looked like the freakiest, most complicated recipe ever, and looking at it now, it's not that bad. A double compressed crafting table and some crystal matrix ingots, which does require nether stars, which even a couple of episodes ago, uh, well... I guess not counting the live streams. That would have seemed impossible, but now that's very straightforward. We have just, we can just condense them. We can get diamonds. We can build this thing. I mean, in the amount of time it took me to talk about the process of building it, we could have built it. So let's get a, a stack of crafting tables. Is that what we're going to do? Do I not have any more planks? I run out of planks very, very often. And the thing is, I've got tons of wood, right? Uh, nobody take that quote out of context. I've got plenty of planks, or I've got plenty of logs, but I don't have enough planks ever. But there we go. So that's more than a couple of stacks of crafting tables. And then is it a full block? It is to create compressed. And then from there, we create double compressed. Oof. Wait a second. What was that recipe? Let me see it again. Okay, no, we only need the one double compressed. I had the recipe around backwards in my mind. I thought that was going to be... A, a some sort of crystal matrix ingot block surrounded by double compressed. Oof, that would have been crazy. All right, got that done. I keep pressing on this other thing occasionally by mistake. Got that done. This here is going to require diamonds. Stack of those ought to do it. And then how many nether stars do I have? 104. Got 104. I think we're doing just fine. I think we can manage this. So let's create... Uh, the let's make 10 so we'll have an extra one lying around i'm assuming they do have an emc value so we can condense more later if we need to and just like that oh i'm hoping we got something good i'm hoping we got a good reward for this we're not going to have though are we we're gonna get something real 4x storage upgrade 
It's not the worst thing. It could be worse, but it's not the best thing either. What does the mod want us to do next, now that we've created the extreme crafting table? Neutron Collector. Ah, oh, the Neutron Collector collects piles of Neutron. Oh, I'm sorry, no, collects pile of Neutron. Singular. A singular pile. Does it require power? Doesn't seem to. So I guess we can just craft in here to our heart's content. Crystal Matrix. Da -da 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 -da. Neutron Collector. Oof, that's going to be the big one right there. Blocks of redstone. Blocks of iron. Uh, crystal matrix ingots. We already know how to make those. We can do this. Seven. There we go. Uh, ended up not needing to compress them after all. Can I? Ugh, I hope that this works. Let's see. Move items? Oh, thank goodness. That looked like it was going to be a pain otherwise. So we have now managed to... Oh, do you think we're going to get a better reward? I don't. I'm going to say that we are probably going to get a simple alloy smelter. Silk Touch Chance Pendant. About as useless. We don't use enough chance cubes for these to be in any way beneficial to us. So we've got the collector. I think next up we have to make a compressor. And that's how you collect the piles of neutrons or you compress them i should say let's go ahead and check out neutrons by the way they should be listed in here so what are our uses here uh, it looks like we can compress them ourselves just fine thank you try not to think about it it says piles of neutron try not to think about it um apparently this is 35.6 million metric tons a uh, neutronium ingot fascinating the dense heart of a star in convenient ingot form i can only imagine how heavy that must be what do i need this compressor device for Whew, Shrek. We got to get the the ingots in order to just make it. All right, let's throw this thing down. Looks like it's just doing its thing. It doesn't need power. I suppose I should make a room just for this sort of stuff. Am I gonna break this permanently? No, good. It does have an EMC value, which is great. So what that means is I did make another energy condenser here. We can throw that in there. And then we can go get something with a bit of value, like let's say some awakened cores. We almost have a full stack of them. We won't here in a minute. We'll throw those inside of here. Uh, we actually want to put that there. And absolutely nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? What is going on here? Game? Hello, game. What? Can? Will you not? Can, you're not going to, are you? It's not going to. Why won't it do this? It, it, why would it have an EMC value if we couldn't make more of them? Is this a bug? This might be a bug. Let's clear that out. Oh, there we go. Whoa, stop. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I did differently just then. I don't think I did anything differently just then. Shrek me sideways. You know what I did? Oh, I know what I did. Okay. Um, I. This is embarrassing, but I, I was right-clicking instead of left-clicking which is what you're supposed to do. So there you go. Now we all know. Now I've got 26 of the darn things. I don't know where I'm supposed to put them. How about just in the basement? Does that work? Just stick 26 of them down here? I don't see why not. Doesn't hurt my feelings any if I can't see them, as long as I know they're doing their job. Uh, maybe like a double layer of the darn things. Look at this. This is going swimmingly. Uh, keep running out of places to put them. Wow. Exactly a double layer of them. That is spectacular. Uh, so these things are now going to start collecting neutron, and apparently this takes a while. Some people were telling me that I wanted to get this hooked up with a ton of these quickly, and looking at it, I can understand why, because yikes! This is going to be a long process. I guess I could just condense more, though, right? And just... I don't see why not. Why do I have googly eyes? How did this happen? I look ridiculous with the... The Goku outfit and the googly eyes, I'm assuming. Is that what this is supposed to look like? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I just realized that these could very well make a horrible, horrendous, obnoxious noise. And we would never know because the sound isn't working. And I don't have the time to stop the recording to, to turn the sound back on. So we'll, we're just not going to know. I mean, unless you folks at home know. I'm thinking about stepping this up and just making more. I mean, uh, I could just do an infinite number of emerald chickens, creating an infinite number of awakened cores. That could be convenient. I need to do something with these two. They're just kind of standing around here. I wish this guy would... Oh, is he going to follow me? It never once occurred to me to make him follow me. This is spectacular. Uh, the, I f feel so much less lonely now. Nope, we've broken. He can't he can't come through the door. 
you know what, dude? I'm going to make you like your own room at some point, and you can just hang out there permanently. How about that? All right, so we finally got our pile of neutrons. Uh, don't think about it. That's what I was told. And that got us a torch launcher. Another torch launcher. We already had one of those. And it's cool. Torch launchers are neat. I mean, I haven't used the one that we got before, but fair enough. I think nine of these together. Gosh, we are booking it through here. Uh, <laughs> nine of these together should give us like the next stage up. Oh, they have a little glow around them. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to give us our nugs. And those nugs are going to give us... Another auto sifter. God, this needs to be fixed. Okay, this reward system is dumb and broken, and I hate it. Also, I'm not going to go down there and manually remove those every time another one is made. Where are the item conduits? I've only got four of them. Now make more. Is there a device that we can use to, like, set up, and then as we walk down the line, just click each one of these, and it sets it to that, like, default set default setup? I feel like that's a thing that exists. I know that it's something I've used in the past, but I don't know which mod it was for. It might have been for Ender.io. I'm not, not completely sure. I am going to go down the line, though, and set each one of these to extract without checking to see whether or not uh, these mods are compatible, and it will actually extract. Because where is the fun in doing things in a smart way when you could just do it in a way that is entertaining? Am I right? I mean, what would you folks rather see? Me test it and it work, or me te not test it and it not work, and me feel like a failure? Of course it worked. Look at that. Neutrons, neither the piles of nor the nuggets. N none of them seem to have an EMC value. And in fact, if we look up that mod again, uh, none of these do. Absolutely none of them. The game is forcing us down a path that I cannot follow. Much like Padme. In the time it's taken us to create the eight new... Tr well, you see what I've made. It's already made 17 awakened cores. I'm trying to figure out if maybe I want to build a new space. Possibly in the basement. Out of sight. Because, quite frankly, looking at these things is just a frustrating reminder of how much of my life is going to go into this series. So I'd like to keep them out of sight. Clear out a space underneath here. And make, I don't know, like 200 of these neutron collectors? Have them just going at all times? Because it doesn't appear as though it's going to get any better. Now, the compressor might do something that I'm not aware of. What does it do here? It can turn lapis lazuli into... S oh, are you telling me it doesn't actually compress the neutrons? It doesn't. It doesn't do that at all. It doesn't seem to interact with the neutrons in any way. It just turns lapis into a singularity. That's what a singularity looks like. I thought these were shurikens this whole time. I think what I'm going to do after this episode is I am going to create a whole bunch of these. I mean a whole bunch of them. Clear out a wall from there, possibly down there, uh, three tall, rig them all up, and then that way hopefully we'll start to generate enough of these to make serious progress. It's a bit strange to have to wait on something to be produced now that I've become uh, rather accustomed to just being able to EMC anything and everything I could possibly want. But you know what? Maybe there's some benefit to that. So look at that. We got our first uh, ingot here, our first neutronium ingot. And as far as quests go, that'll give us a uh, party pickaxe. Okay, then. All right. Away you go. Good for you. That would be great under some circumstances, but it's not really beneficial to us in any way right now. It was really cool earlier on for sure what is an ultimate stew look at that if you can get all of these items together and it has an emc value so you can create more of it i mean that's crazy that is the ultimate stew i might want to make that one day as well as some of these uh, world breakers check that out that sounds like a fun time look at this sh shovel this looks awesome the only thing that would make these better is if you could combine them all together into a single paxol style weapon i don't know who makes uh, Avaricia, but you should look into that. But yeah, I have to make more neutron collectors using EMC, of course, because these compressors require a whole bunch of neutronium. Oh my gosh! That is absurd. But right, right. It's, it's not going to be a problem. Like I say, between now and next time, I should have a wall full of them. It's convenient that they have an, an EMC value. Otherwise, this would just be absurd. Uh, gosh, they are slow going, though. They are so slow going. All right, well, thank you folks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, and until next time, God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!